Disney Infinity 3.0 is a really, really fun game that allows you to bring your toys to life when you buy them from play sets. This is a play set. This one's called Rise Against the Empire and we'll actually be playing it today. It comes with a story mode and two characters. How will I be reviewing these games? Well, I'll, you'll get one joystick or one point per category, unless you get half a point. There's story mode, free play mode, co-op or online mode, the ease of play, and finally, the graphics for categories. Let's start with the first mode, the Toy Box Hub. I highly suggest starting here before you even touch the story mode, because you can learn tons of tips and tricks about the game from every host here. But you do always have to be on the alert because you can get attacked, especially if you're near this evil graveyard. While this can get annoying sometimes, it's mostly a very helpful thing because you can level up and be able to purchase skill upgrades. As you can see, I've just leveled up and now I'm going to press the start button and show you how to purchase the skill upgrades. Here's your skill tree. This is where you purchase the upgrades with in-game money. Sadly, since this game has actually been discontinued by Disney, you can no longer access the El Capitan Theater or the arcade where there used to be tons of really awesome community creations. You will see if you actually go to the Disney Infinity website that it says all online services of Disney Infinity games have been sunset. Somewhere in the map, you will also be able to find places where you can play all the stories from the play sets you've bought. Next, let's create our own toy box. A toy box is basically your own kind of Minecraft creative world. Here's where you look at all your saved toy boxes and toy box games that you've made before. But since I have none, let's create one. You can see there's a bunch of options. I'm gonna choose city. Here we are. To open the options menu, you wanna press the change view button on your Xbox One controller. Then you can navigate through the menu using your D-pad. That's the thing that looks like a little plus button. To place down an object, press A, and then press B to get out of the menu. You can ride vehicles using X, and then use the triggers to control their speed. If you want to get rid of it, press left on the D-pad, hold the left trigger, and then you can press B to get rid of any object. Press left on the D-pad to put your wand away. You'll always be able to access it again later. If you forget to save your game, you can always press save and exit before you exit your game. Now let's play the story mode. It'll always be at the top of your menu when you put it on the plate. And you can load your game or create a new game. Since I've already worked at it, I'm going to load my game. This is my last progress. Here it is on Hoth. Let's load it in. Now I spawned in as Luke Skywalker, since that's the last figure I put on the plate. Now you can see I'm actually going to be a little farther than you will be in the story since I've already played my game quite a lot. But you can see I spawned in that hangar and it has somewhat of a free play element also to the story mode since you can fly in space without having to have a mission there. Also, if you look on the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you will see your mini map. The exclamation points show your missions, and the yellow ones will help you progress through your story. But first, we have to change into a really cool outfit. That is much better. Now, let's play with a friend. You want to place the figure on the slot on the base. Then you want to press the start button on the controller for them to join the game. But before we start the mission, she has to change into her cool outfit too. Now you can go ahead and start the mission.
You will know when you complete any mission because a big huge star will pop up on your screen, or more than one star. I believe you can get up to three or more stars for each mission.